factorizing monic quadratics. So what is a monic quadratic? Well, that's a quadratic like x squared minus 5x plus 6. So it's a quadratic because the highest power of our pronumeral is 2, and it's monic because the coefficient of that highest pronumeral is 1, because it doesn't have a coefficient there, which means it's 1. Now to factorize a monic quadratic, we have to look for two factors that multiply to the constant, that has to multiply to this, and the two factors have to sum to the term, the coefficient in front of x, and it has to sum to this. Another way to look at it is that x squared has to be, the two factors have to be a sum of our x coefficient and a product of the constant term. So what are two numbers that multiply to 6 but add up to minus 5? So to do that, the first thing we actually want to do is write a couple of pairs of brackets to factorize, and we'll write an x in front of each one. And once we pick out two factors that multiply to positive 6 and add up to minus 5, we can write them in here with their signs. So two numbers that multiply to 6 are going to be either so let's write out some factors of 6. It's going to help us. So some factors of 6 are going to be 1 times 6 is 6, or 2 times 3 is 6. And what numbers can we use that are going to add up to minus 5? Well, it looks like we can use 2 and 3, because 2 times 3 is 6, and 2 plus 3 is 5. We just got to work out what signs we need. So the thing we're multiplying to is positive, but the thing we're adding up to is negative, which means if we're multiplying to get to a positive number, both of the numbers are going to have to be positive, or they're both going to have to be negative. But since this is negative, they're both going to have to be negative. So our answers are going to be minus 2 and minus 3. Let's double check. Minus 2 times minus 3 gives us positive 6, and minus 2 plus minus 3 does give us positive, give us negative 5. And that's actually the answer to our factorization. Let's just expand and just double check, because this is our first time doing it. So let's expand this back out and see what happens. So expanding this back out, we're going to have x times x is x squared, x times minus 3 is minus 3x, minus 2 times x is minus 2x, and minus 2 times minus 3 is positive 6. We can add our like terms in the middle, minus 3, minus 2, minus 3x, minus 2x is minus 5x, plus 6, and that's exactly what we started with, so we know that factorization is correct. Let's do some more. Let's have a look at x squared plus x minus 6. So our first step is to write two brackets with an x at the front in each. And we're looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 6 but add up to 1 this time. So in this case it's going to be 3 and 2 and it's going to be plus 3 and minus 2 because plus 3 times minus 2 is going to give us minus 6, and 3 minus 2 gives us 1, exactly what we need. You could expand it and check, but I'll save that for you. x squared minus 8x plus 16. So our first step is to write two sets of brackets with an x in each one. And we're looking for two numbers that multiply to positive 16 and add up to minus 8. In this case, it's going to be minus 4 and minus 4, because minus 4 
times minus 4 gives us positive 16, and minus 4 plus minus 4 gives us minus 8. And if your brackets end up being the same, this is a special case where we have a perfect squared quadratic up here, and we can rewrite that as x minus 4 all squared, because it's being times by itself. What about x squared minus 11x plus 18? So we're going to write our brackets out, putting an x in the front of each one. We're looking for two numbers that multiply to positive 18 and add up to minus 11. In this case, it's going to be minus 9 and minus 2. Because minus 9 times minus 2 gives us positive 18, and minus 9 plus minus 2 give us minus 11. Let's have a look at one more. 2x squared minus 10x minus 28. Well, here we don't have a monic quadratic because a monic quadratic, remember, has to have coefficient of 1. Here we have a coefficient of 2. But if we look closely, we can take out a factor of 2 out of every term. So let's do that first. So if we take out 2 out, we're left with x squared minus 5x minus 14. And inside here, we now have a monic quadratic which we can factorize. So we've still got the 2 out the front, but this monic quadratic we can factorize. Put an x in each bracket and we're looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 14 and sum up to minus 5. So that's going to be minus 7 and plus 2 because minus 7 times positive 2 gives us minus 14 and minus 7 plus 2 gives us minus 5. Thank you.